Hello and welcome back to a page by page review of Dune. Frank Herbert. Today, page 390. Good page. I liked it. I hope you did. Uh, as pages go, it's a good page. It's a solid page and continues the story. Uh, most notably, Jessica and Paul are shot up like through the vortex out of the geyser-like storm and are exit the big storm with uh, dying so far. And Jessica says her inner sense of time calculated it to be around four hours of flying, uh, but it felt like a lifetime and she feels as if she is reborn. And she uh, talks about it being the litany. They, uh, pass through, they let it around them, and they remained. And then we switch over to Paul, and Paul can feel the thopter is broken, or is breaking, and that they suffered a lot of damage within the storm, and that they haven't quite escaped wholly the danger that was presented as his prescient view is not fully clear as to what to do. He shivers, and the sensation is described as magnetic and terrifying. Um, and he's starting to wonder about his this transformation that he's seen. Uh, and it can't all be com the completely the, the spice diet. And we see a lot of parallels to our own lives in this, uh, namely physically puberty, which Paul's going through. And he goes through this almost superhuman-esque transitionary period. Um, let us know what you guys. Uh, let us know if you guys have had any transformations, or uh, have gone through puberty and are adults fully now, or perhaps you're pre-puberty and excited for that change, or you're in the middle of it and it's not that great. Uh, but let us know your thoughts and comment below, and keep reading Dune by Frank Herbert.